my friend takes in here and got some new tank, new regulator. So automatic regulator means you could open up both tanks, it'll draw equally, or you could you know use one tank at a time. This little lever right here, whichever way it's pointed is which tank you're gonna draw from if you're only using one at a time. And then whenever you're not using it, it's in storage, turn the propane off and undo the pigtails and then blade it out through the um, through the stove. Go ahead and light the stove. Same thing when you hook it back up, go back to your stove first and light it just to bleed all the air out of the lines. Alright, fresh tank. So if you're boondocking or dry camping somewhere to fill up your fresh tank. And you got your water pump inside. Or you can use city if you're at a campsite or at the house or something, access to the water hose. Just make sure you have a water pressure regulator uh, to reduce the water pressure down so you don't blow out any lines or anything like that. Alright, as far as your sewage goes, you got one great tank here. Or the handle anyways, is right here. So that's gonna be for like your kitchen sink. All right, then you come back here, and then you'll have your other gray tank, which will be for your bathroom, uh, shower, and your sink, and then your black tank, uh, which is all toilet waste. Right, let's study in plug here. So outside so you got your faucet so this I'm just gonna dump this out and then you got the tables on both sides the propane you're gonna take the hose and run it down and hook it up to the quick connect here and then open your lever and you'll have gas flow to light your stove So you're gonna pull this lever and just let it down. Black tank flush, so after you dump your black tank, you can come over here, hook the water hose up to this, and then just flush out your black tank. So just run it for like 10 minutes. After you dump it, hook that up. Um, close your valve for like a minute and then open it back up and let it flush out. So water heater is gas and electric. Your electric switch is going to be out here. So you have two electric switches, electric switches on this one actually. So make sure this one's on and then you'll have one inside which I'll show you in a second. So you got your ceiling lights, porch light, step light, all that, your awning switch, and then your slide out switches. So when you're bringing it in, and as soon as you hear the da 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 da, stop. That way you don't strip out the gear. And then this is your little control center. So it'll tell you the levels of your battery, your fresh tank, black tank, and both gray tanks. And then you got your water pump switch here. And then you got your water pump for gas side and then you got your electric switch here but just make sure the electric switch out there is turned on and then you can turn this on all right so fridge so you got auto gas and electric so if you leave it on auto anytime you're plugged in it's always going to choose the short power over um gas 
the moment you unplug and you go, you know, you're going on a trip or something, it'll automatically switch to gas and stay running. Or you can have it strictly on gas. So if you're boondocking and you ain't got no 110 power, you would put it on strictly gas only. Hmm? That's pretty much it. The AC's right here, thermostat. So you got your AC, you can run the fan and then your heat. That's pretty much it.